My name is Daisy Adala. I'm the Director of Quality Assurance, Marisops Kenya. And uh, I've been working here for the last 14 years, dealing with issues around reproductive health and more so women, women's rights. Yes. An unsafe abortion is a termination of a pregnancy before, before, uh, uh, before it gets to its viability. And it is performed in a place where there are minimal standards are not met. There was a time I was working in, uh, in a Mombasa clinic, one of the clinics in Mombasa, and a young girl, I would say the mother, the mother came into the facility carrying a, a, a girl on her back and she was drenched in blood. The mother was drenched in blood on the back. So she, she carried her and dropped her at the reception and there was a lot of screaming by the patients who had come in and all that and we ran in and started emergency management of the of the case so as we went further after we now treated her and not just treating meaning we took her to theater because her uterus had been damaged and she was bleeding excessively we had to refer her to an ICU facility unfortunately she lost her uterus and at that time she was 16 years of age this is, we are talking about 2010 um, this client however had the day before had just come to the same facility and was asked for uh, was told was told that her pregnancy was too well well in that no help could be offered and she was cancelled to pick to go for to carry on with the pregnancy so she re reverted to she resorted to go to a backstreet clinic where this was done and that's when she was brought so unfortunately we are having a woman now who could be around 28 or 29 years of age with no uterus and cannot give birth so those are the terrible effects we have in terms of unsafe abortions usually women who have undergone an unsafe abortion undergo quite a lot of trauma that is number one they have various issues especially psychological issues that we go, go about with the termination of this pregnancy there is death which is one we cannot reverse then there is heavy bleeding there is infertility there are infections and sometimes somebody can have a de de uh, diseases that can actually take long to heal hence you will not not go to school or not go 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 to work hence that is what unsafe abortion causes and the complications in an unsafe abortion maris of kenya has been operating in kenya since 1985 and uh, we provide high quality sexual reproductive health services in about 43 counties counties around in Kenya 43 counties in Kenya we operate in about four channels and the channels include our clinics which are 22 across the whole country we have one maternity home which is situated, is situated within Isli. We have 15 outreach teams that operate in 600 government and private facilities across the country. I think that women go for unsafe abortions in, in, in places that uh, are not recommended because one, they're afraid. There's a lot of stigma associated with abortion. So you'd rather do it at the back where you think no one sees and no one will know about it. Hence you find that uh, the women will go to they would prefer to have their terminations in bedrooms, in lodgings, and may go through unscrupulous means like getting uh, drugs or taking overdoses of drugs so that they can be able to procure an abortion. So the stigma especially is one that is quite high around it. <laughs>